Hi guys, in this episode of Ray Decay, I'm going to be reacting to the boy group from Wooling Enter Entertainment, Drippin. I've reacted to them before and I've been into them, I'd say, decent uh, amount. They're not my favorite group or anything, but I've actually grown to enjoy their music uh, quite a lot. Like early in the beginning of uh, last year, I actually enjoyed uh, at least like there was two songs of theirs that I checked out and I actually enjoyed them quite a lot, especially the song Young Blood. So I'm curious what we're gonna get into the three songs that I'm gonna be reacting to in this video. Those being Free Pass, Vertigo, and Villain, their current comeback. With the other two songs being songs that they released, I guess, in the second half of 2021 that I just didn't have time to react to until now. But yeah, I'm pretty excited to see uh, all these three songs and see how much I'm gonna like them because if there's three songs, there's bound to be at least one of these songs that I'm actually gonna end up enjoying, so... Yeah, I guess without further ado, let's just start off with the first song, Free Pass, in 3, 2, 1. I honestly kind of forget that Dripping is a boy group from uh, William Entertainment. I kind of only have it in my head that their boy group is only Golden Child and completely forget that this boy group is from Wooling as well. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be that big of a fan of this song. It's a little too cutesy for me. Yeah, I'm sorry if I'm not really reacting much, but I don't really even know what to say about it. Again, I don't think it's bad, I'm just not really into it. So yeah, I'm probably not gonna be checking out this song the second time. But I also did not really expect this one to be... Uh, I didn't expect to be too crazy about this one in the first place. And again, don't, me, don't get me wrong, I don't think it's a bad song, I just personally don't really enjoy it much. And if you uh, ask why would I be reacting to this if I don't really enjoy it, well you never know until you check out the song. That's kind of why I keep reacting to groups that I'm not even really like a big fan of, because you never know where a hit is gonna come from, you know? And sometimes you guys actually lead me to some really good songs from groups that I don't tend to be a big fan of, you know? I can definitely see how people will enjoy this one though. The chorus is definitely mildly uh, interesting even to me, but the song as a whole is just a little bit too... too cutesy and not that catchy, you know? It doesn't really feel that impactful to me personally, which is kind of what I look for in K-pop songs, to be impacted and kind of blown away a little bit. But yeah, um... I don't know, in terms of rating for this song, I'm still gonna give it a pretty decent 8.2 out of 10. Like I said, I don't think there's anything bad about the song. I think it's a perfectly serviceable song. It's just that for me, it's not that interesting, you know? Um, so I'm hoping that at least one of the next two songs is going to be better than this and more something that I would enjoy. 
uh, because I, I if if neither of those two songs is actually good enough to the point where I actually enjoy it, you're probably not gonna even see this video. Uh, because I, I, I wouldn't want to post a video in which I'm just kind of shitting on a group for all their music, you know. So I'm expecting that there's going to be at least one that I'm going to like. But yeah, I think this one is still pretty solid. It's just that I personally don't really care about it. But that's why I'm curious. Uh, if you do like this song, what do you like about it? Comment down below. I'm really curious. Because for me, the best thing I can say about it is like the chorus is kind of mildly catchy and mildly interesting. And that would be probably, if I had to say what's my favorite part of the song that I already kind of don't like. That would be it. It's the one part of the song that is kind of interesting, but it's just that it's a very mild and very soft and very um, inoffensive song to the point of fault, uh, in my opinion. But yeah, like I said, what do you guys think? Anyway, um, we still have two more songs, uh, and this one just doesn't, I feel like. There's not much I'll get from listening to it a second time and I don't want to just waste time watching it again so I'm not going to but if the rest, uh, the other two songs are uh, at least good enough I'll probably be doing two reactions to those. So now uh, let's get into the next song Vertigo in 3, 2, 1. Wait, why did that say Universe Music? I think I remember something about a bunch of music videos that were released on like the app Universe or something for many different groups. Music videos that I actually hadn't seen, so I wonder if I downloaded that from then? Okay, this one is already so much better. Oh yeah, I'm definitely more into this one already. Okay, I'm kinda into it. I've definitely still yet to be super in love with a track of theirs though. I definitely think they have the potential though because these guys too, uh, that, that were rapping right here are really good. So they definitely have the potential to hit it really big with me at some point, but we'll see when that's gonna be. Maybe with the next one, because I don't think it's gonna be with this one. But still, maybe after the second listen it's gonna be even better. Because I definitely enjoy this more than Free Pass, for sure. This is more my kind of stuff. I do love that uh, in this part of the music video they're actually in like a city. You don't really see that kind of music video too much in K-pop and it's always refreshing when it does happen. Also this guy looks so much like uh, Hong Jong from 80s, it's kinda uh, uncanny. Honestly, the rappers of these groups are kind of insane, I gotta say. Yeah, this one I actually genuinely like.
I also like the big young adult uh, kind of thing, post-apocalyptic young adult thing that they're going for with the story in the music video. At least that's kind of how it comes up. I like that. I always like that when uh, groups do that. But yeah, um, we're definitely gonna get into this one a second time, but before we do a few things I wanna say about it. Um, I'm still not like super crazy about it, but I honestly, uh, I, I don't think I've ever really been too crazy about Japanese music. Uh, the last uh, time that I reacted to their music, I was into it for sure, and I actually ended up listening to uh, their songs a, uh, a decent amount, I would say. Not too much, but a decent amount, I definitely enjoyed them um, enough. And... I enjoy this song a lot, but there's definitely some room for development in terms of how much I could love it. I feel like it could be catchier, it could hit harder, but the one thing that I definitely have no criticisms for is the rappers of this group. They're really good. And even the vocalists are pretty good as well, but the rappers are perfect in my opinion. And I feel like uh, that is definitely the thing that I like the most about this group. I just wish that... Uh, the songs were a little, I don't want to say better because that kind of makes uh, makes it sound that I like. I think that the songs are bad the way they are because that is definitely not the case. But I feel like the songs could be better. They could utilize the rappers better, and they could build a better song around the rappers better. You know. But yeah, I. I already by the end of the point it was starting to grow on me because I feel like the chorus again could have been catchier but it's pretty good I like it but it could have been catchier could have been a little bit more hard hitting but by the end of the song it was already starting to grow on me a lot so I'm curious to see how much it's gonna grow on me after the second listen so without further ado let's get into the the, the song again in three two one Yeah, I definitely like this song good. This might be my favorite song of theirs, honestly. Even. Because I think it's definitely their edgiest. In terms of its vibe, at least. Oh yeah, it's definitely even better on Pickle List. Dude, the rapper sounds so sick. I love the rapper. Also, the pre-chorus is really good as well. Yeah, this is definitely their best song in my opinion. Yeah, this guy straight up looks like a younger version of Honjoon from 80s. Yeah, 
but she's obviously a vocal in uh, in comparison to Han Jung Bin, a rapper. I love how fiercely they're dancing, dude. They're pretty good. Although I do not understand why the government is after them. It's not really clear in my opinion. But okay, yeah, I, I, I like this one for sure. Um, I feel like the song definitely has room for improvement, but overall I think this is straight up their best song and I would definitely be listening to it because of that. Um, in terms of its rating, um, I'm going to give it honestly a pretty high score of a 9.4 out of 10. It might be maybe a little bit too much because in comparison, if you put it in comparison to other groups, I feel like it would probably be closer to an 8.4 out of 10. But in terms of Drippin's music, it is definitely a 9.4. I think it's a really good song for them, for sure. So yeah, now I'm actually kind of excited about uh, Dylan. I'm really curious to see how good that song is going to be. Whether I'm gonna like it more than this or not. Because if this song is uh, anything to go by, I feel like we might be going for a really awesome song. Especially considering how good songs have been in 2022 so far. I'm really curious to see how this one's going to be. So without further ado, let's get into the final song of these three songs. Dylan, their most recent comeback in three, Two, one. Man, I really don't like how many boy groups are using this kind of CGI because it's kind of causing them to blend together for you because their music is also not too far from each other. Like this group, uh, Ghost Nine, um, only on and off. Like, so many of these groups have kind of similar CGI that they use. And it really bothers me. Oh, I really like their outfits. Okay, I like this build up here. I definitely think this song is uh, incorporating the vocals better than the last one, for sure. Now it's just a question of how good the chorus is gonna be. Okay, this one is definitely pretty good as well. K-pop is just different, dude. You know, this one feels kind of like a little bit of a reverse situation compared to Vertigo. While in Vertigo, the raps were the better part of the song compared to the vocals, in this song I feel like it's the opposite. I feel like the vocals are better accommodated for than the rapping. So I think overall, both of these songs are gonna end up being kinda equal for me. Like, in terms of Drippin's music, these songs are pretty much equal, but in comparison to other groups, this is definitely higher quality. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Okay, so this one is definitely also gonna get a second reaction because I enjoyed uh, quite a lot as well. I feel like, um, in terms of my enjoyment during these reactions, I feel like Vertigo was a little bit more enjoyable because it is a little bit more hard hitting and more impressive in terms of the raps. So I, because of that, I ended up enjoying it more because that is something that I enjoy more. But again, overall, pretty much both songs are kind of equal for uh, in terms of their quality for me. Because, but it is for different reasons. Because, like I said, Vertigo is more a hard hitting and rap. Uh, powerful in terms of its rap and that's what I think is the best part of that song but for this song it's more vocal based I feel like and I feel like the vocals in this song are better than they were in Vertigo so I guess for their next comeback they maybe will combine the, these two songs into one and get a really really good song because so far these are good but I feel like there's definitely room for improvement for them but I do definitely like them um and I honestly don't know which one of these two I'll end up listening to more. I feel like the chorus of Vertigo is better, but I feel like maybe the chorus of this one is a little higher quality, if that makes sense. Because I feel like in this song, the chorus is just like, I'm a villain, villain, villain. And while that kind of, in, co in combination with the rest of the song, feels kind of higher quality and more polished, it's also less interesting and less catchy, I feel like, compared to Vertigo's chorus which I feel like was a little bit catchier. So yeah, I don't know. I feel like both songs have strengths and weaknesses, but they are different, but those strengths and weaknesses pretty much end up uh, pushing them to the same position overall. But yeah, uh, we're still gonna listen to this one a second time, so let's go again in three, two, one. Also, the outfits are sick, dude. With that fire around them, it looks so badass. Yeah, this one, similarly to the last one, definitely sounds catcher on second listen as well. I guess this, this chorus also has the I got the power, which is pretty catchy. So yeah, I don't know, I feel like I'll probably end up listening to both of the songs a lot. Okay, that part is really catchy, dude. Okay, this one's definitely catchy as hell. is actually pretty sick. I actually like this one. The more I hear the part I got the power, the more I I find this song gas. I'm 
I'm glad that the trend of really good songs in 2022 continues. It's gonna be hell trying to pick the best songs this year though. Once the year ends. But this definitely makes me uh, uh, retcon how I rate Vertigo. Because I still stand by what I said in terms of the fact that Vertigo's more heart hitting nature and the fact that I enjoy the rapping more kind of appeals to me more. I still kind of stand by that statement, but I feel like in terms of the rating, I am going to go with the 8.4 that I mentioned. Because this song I want to rate higher because it feels more polished and more sophisticated and higher quality. And I don't feel like this song deserves a 9.6 out of 10 uh, in that regard. Because, if you remember, I gave Vertigo 9.4, but it doesn't make sense to give a Villain 9.6, so instead I'm gonna downgrade Vertigo to the 8.4 that I talked about, and for this one, I'm going to give an 8.6 out of 10. And this time, these ratings are genuinely how I feel about the songs, not just in terms of Drippin's music, but overall, that's how much I enjoy these two songs. They're genuinely pretty good, especially this one. Like, I, I love both of these songs for different reasons, and uh, I'm glad that the 2022 song continues the trend of really good uh, and catchy as hell choruses that we've been having so far. Which, I don't know why, what changed this year with K-pop, I don't know, but I'm back to enjoying K-pop in the same way that I used to enjoy it in, like, pre-2018, like, back when I first became a K-pop fan. Back then... Uh, the thing that I was focusing on when I was listening to K-pop was whether the chorus was catchy or not, and that's kind of what made or break, uh, broke a song for me. And we're kind of back to that, with so many great choruses. But yeah, what did you guys think about these songs? Comment down below and let's have a discussion about it. And maybe if you guys think there are some uh, really good b-sides that you think uh, maybe that maybe you think appeal to me more and are I'm more likely to enjoy, definitely make sure to comment down below and let me know that there is a demand for reaction to Dripping besides because I wouldn't mind checking them out, although at the moment my plans for reacting to albums and besides are kind of full because of how many I have to react to both in terms of what you guys seem to want and what I want because in the beginning of February I'm going to be reacting to Uptensions album, uh, B2B's album and 17's album, uh, as well as Stray Kids' most recent album, 80's' most recent album, Everglow and Dreamcatcher's most recent album, if I haven't reacted to them, which I don't think I have. So yeah, there's a lot. So you might have to wait a little bit before I check out B-sides from this group, but I definitely wouldn't mind doing so, so comment down below. And also, before we end this video, I just want to give a huge shout out to my currently two patrons on Patreon, Omar Bridgman, and Deadpool. Thank you guys for your support, I really appreciate it, it really means a lot to me that you have decided to and have continued to support me for such a long time, it really means a lot to me, I hope you continue to enjoy my content and continue to support me going forward as well. Thank you very much. And now, before we end this video, I just want to talk about something uh, to you guys very quickly, um, which some of you may or may have not noticed before or know about me, that being the fact that I am trans. And yes, this may come uh, as shocking uh, to some of you because I don't really flaunt it that much on my channel, or at least I feel like I don't. Um, outside of like my K-pop reactions, which is where I feel like the most comfortable being myself like this. And yeah, I am in fact trans. Um, I'm not necessarily full on uh, male to female, but I heavily want to transition to being pretty female. I do consider myself more non-binary though, or maybe gender fluid would be the best descriptor as well, because I do have occasional moments where I feel fine being like just a normal guy, but most of the time, like right now, I do feel very dysphoric. Um, and that's why I'm asking you guys for any help that you can give me, because my situation right now, I I don't really see any way out of, outside of you guys' help. Because, and this is going to be kept short and concise, I live with my parents. They're never going to accept me as a trans person. 
they, they just never will. And as a matter of fact, back when I started the YouTube channel, I was actually kind of slightly starting my transition back then with like starting to grow out my hair. Um, I even got to DIY HRT, but because my parents started noticing certain things like uh, uh, my behavior had changed a lot and my clothes had changed a lot. I kind of had to stop doing that because they were constantly nagging me about cutting my hair and just started to kind of be threatening in a certain way and felt like they were ashamed of me and everything. And that just kind of, that kind of stress just tired me out to the point where I just gave up. But as dysphoria goes, it just doesn't go away you know i still feel like this and in fact it's somewhat been intensifying again recently so i just wanted to share this with you guys and again i would really appreciate any amount of support you can give me in regards to this because um i just don't see any way out of this because even if i mo uh, moved out of my parents house and got my, myself a job and everything that's just not gonna work for long-term uh planning because once i transition it's like i probably will not be able to get myself a job because my country is very transphobic nobody gives a shit about lgbt people at all so there's not even much i can do even in terms of transitioning here so yeah i don't know I just would appreciate any amount of support you can give me, uh, be it monetarily or in any way otherwise. And this is not about uh, boosting my channel or anything or guilt tripping you with my sob story. I just wanted to get this off my chest and make my subscribers aware of the situation that I am in and that I would appreciate anything that you guys can help me out with. It would mean literally everything. Like, for example, uh, a friend that I made after starting this YouTube channel, my good friend Yuri, has been helping me out a lot. And I genuinely might have not been here if it wasn't for him, if it wasn't for him showing up and befriending me. So yeah, this just went a little bit longer than I, I intended, but I would just uh, really appreciate anything you can support me with. That's kind of ultimately what I'm trying to say. And yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave a like, subscribe, also check out the description to my Twitter if you want to follow me over there and to my Wattpad where I post my stories, because in addition to doing all these videos to my channel, I am also a writer. And if you enjoy my stories or you simply enjoy my videos, you can head over to my Patreon or to my Coffee account where you can pledge your support and help get the channel going, help support me so I can keep writing the stories you enjoy. But if you don't want to do it, that's completely fine, you can still help me out in other ways like liking this video, subscribing to the channel and especially sharing this video with somebody who you think might enjoy it. And I think it's pretty much it for this video, so hopefully I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye!